Good morning. This is LaQueen Battle. Uh, good morning. Today is Tuesday, August the 31st. It is the last day of the month here in August. Um, as you know, uh, the United States has declared I'm here in Washington, D.C. And I spent I spent the week here attending a couple rallies. I attended mass action for mass action for police brutality rally, as well as um, I attended. Um, I'm also uh, pretty much trying to get involved in other activities here and just see where I can meet up with some people and network and do uh, some business. So good morning. Um, as you know, the United States has declared an end release all hostages from um, Af release all Americans from Afghanistan which is great it is a great thing and we still have to keep um, to keep that in mind uh, that our, we are still under a high high uh, terrorism watch right now um, but um, as you know, what's going on right now in Louisiana, we've seen the reports uh, that um, Hurricane um, Ida is making windfall right now. It started uh, two days ago in the New Orleans, in the uh, Southern Hemisphere, um, Louisiana area. So um, right now, um, it says one million people are in Louisiana are without power. According to the BBC, about 14 hours ago, as of 7:30 this morning here in DC, and it said um, uh, that uh, it's thrashing through the Gulf Coast, according to NPR and uh, Washington Post, Des Moines, CNN, um, NBC News, as well as Who Next Day. So there are a couple of news outlets all over all over the world that are pretty much. Uh, given current updates um, as well as what's going on in Hurricane Ida. So to all my friends, family, and associates who are making um, arrangements um, uh, to move out of the Louisiana area, I wish them the best. And um, I'm here in D.C. I'm also a volunteer for the American Red Cross, so there are a couple uh, meetings I have to attend. There's a meeting I have to attend today. Uh, the national headquarters is here in dc so i would love to be a part of that um, as well as um there still is a flood warning issued by the national weather service uh here in dc so again i just wish you guys would continue to support uh the the efforts that are going by right now with um with uh People that are living right now in Louisiana, they said it's like another remake of Hurricane Katrina that happened in 2005, which is pretty much going through um, almost 5,000 people. Um, I was looking at this, the stats last night. Uh, uh, 2,000 people died in 9 11. About four or 5,000 people more or less lost their lives during Hurricane Katrina, according to the stats I was looking at last night. So there are a lot of uh, efforts as well as um, more initiatives that are being made to help alleviate that 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 issue from happening again so I do want to uh, send out prayers as well as if you do need any kind of assistance if you are any kind of a weather disaster storm please reach out to the American Red Cross United Way as well as Salvation Army those are some great great charities and organizations that can help out other people too as well and I'll just go ahead and give you some numbers to uh, to the um, American Red Cross American Red Cross and um, in New Orleans their phone number in the American Red Cross, okay, in New Orleans is 504-620-3105. And I will go ahead and repeat this over to uh, my Battle First Aid Responder Services uh, page too. So I'm going to go ahead and type this in the comments page, American Red Cross in New Orleans. Their phone number is 504-620-3105. 
504-620-3105. Okay, so you can also reach them too as well. These these flies, these mosquitoes are attracted to my scent. I'm really kind of like really irritated right now about it. So you can also reach people at the American Red Cross too, as well as um, the uh, United Way. Um, that's also another agency too. Uh, New United Way in uh, Louisiana. Uh, the United Ways in New Orleans and United Way of Southeast Louisiana. Their phone number is 504-822-5540. So that, that's another number um, that you can also uh, the United Way in New Orleans too. 504 8 to 2 5540. Okay, so uh, 4 8 to 2 5540. Okay, so there are other um, these flies. Okay, so there are other agencies involved too. I just want to encourage you guys out there to please reach out and get assistance, especially like myself who is currently um, applying to graduate school, applying to nursing medical school, doing my research, taking care of myself. At the same time, kind of in transition right now, homeless, unemployed, but still unemployed. Do you, do you need something? Do you need something? Where are you from? Okay, all right. So kind of like homeless and then unemployed and then also underemployed. So there are a lot of other issues that need to be made too um, and pertain to that too. So again, um, I want you guys to go ahead and please, these mosquitoes are reach out here in D.C. for real, to reach out to uh, these phone numbers as well as just reach out to 211. 211 is nationwide. And so um, 211 is nationwide and you can also get those numbers too as well. Okay, you can also get those numbers too as well. Two and one uh, nationwide. That's United Way, UnitedWay.org. Okay, uh, UnitedWay.org as well as two and one.org. You can also reach those numbers too as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of switch over to my Battle First Aid Responder Services feed. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick schedule for the Queen Battle Schedule for today. Okay. And then I'm kind of going through a lot of personal issues. Um, my family does not want me at the funeral for my Uncle Fred, as well as um, they're kind of uh, um, demanding money out of me. And then on top of that, um, some issues. The signage posting for my uncle's birth date is the date of his birth is wrong. And then... Um, some other personal issues that I have to deal with in Texas. So um, I'm just kind of going through. I'm struggling right now because it is the last day of the month. Tomorrow is September the 1st. I'm in a completely different state. I'm here in Washington, D.C., experiencing like being single, uh, trying to meet somebody, trying to go out on a date, trying to establish myself. At the same time, I am pretty much independent as well as reaching out to other people for help and assistance, which is hard because I have not been employed part-time or full-time in the last more or say in the last um, year or so, two years. I've been in Boston, I worked at Harvard, and then so far I was able to, um, to get that experience from Harvard, do some teaching, did medical assistant at Harvard, wrote a couple of books reports about it, Right now, I'm working on my probably my tip publication, um, and then I'm also looking to go ahead and trying to get published in academic journals and follow up with these people too, as well. So it is a lot to do. Um, I'm trying to get published in the American Psych uh, Psychological Association, which is great. I got some feedback from them on some editing that I need to do on my manuscripts for the papers, and then. Um, which is good as well as I am um, I'm currently here in DC I have about ten dollars in my bank account right now so I can literally, literally <laughs> meet people but they are not willing to like can you um, how do you say uh, can you house her or can you 
uh, take care of her you know what I mean or you know can you home her or something like that it's really really obscure and I'm just like really right now I am very much tired and um, I'm really not interested because it's not in the right matter the right way that it should be done so um, can you board her that's pretty much what they're saying so um, I am really just trying here out on my own struggling which is really really hard but I am trying to do the very very best that I can do within my means here in DC and right now it is still here in D Washington it's very much a lot of people especially men um, from Virginia and as well not really Maryland area but very much subtle in its southern southern way so even though I'm in DC it's still considered that split between the Mason Dixon line so you have kind of like a lot of army military mentality which is discipline that hardcore way of life and then you also have people in the city as well as people in the country Virginia you go to South Carolina uh, you take a train down to uh, South Carolina Virginia and you go further on down to Ohio whatever it is to keep going down and then it's more of that that settled southern way of life and right now um, I'm just really not looking for I'm looking for better ways and uh, more opportunities uh, for myself so um, I would encourage you guys to I'm um, trying to get in motion um, some book readings I need a pen um, I'm trying to get in motion some book readings as well as um, Trying to get emotions, some book readings, this mosquitoes ever, some book readings, as well as just um, taking care of myself in general because that's how I am. Um, so it is a lot, it's a lot um, to do to work on uh, my research, as well as get in motion, some book readings, and then, of course, some job interviews. Some other things like applying for a grad school <laughs> and then uh, some classes I'm taking at Harvard online right now too so I have a lot on my plate um, I'm going to go to going to go ahead and give you guys um, a schedule that I have for today and I'll let you know from there okay and then you could also, I really need some help right now, so if you could please send out donations to me, I would really appreciate it. Uh, send donations to cash at Venmo PayPal at battlefirstaidresponderservices.com. So, okay. So, uh, my schedule for today for Tuesday, August the 31st, uh, 7 to 8 is coffee. Right now it is 7:30. Safran finishes coffee. Um, I'm gonna be out here um, trying to make some phone calls, and then today is the last day of the month. Even though the uh, Department of Defense (DOD) as well as Joe Biden declared uh, that all American citizens and American troops declared all American troops were withdrawn from the country of Afghanistan, there are still humanitarian agencies out there that are pro providing assistance to Afghanis as well as uh, people still on the ground in in Kabul as well as as Afghanistan so we pretty much have to do what we have to do um, so I'm gonna give you guys my schedule for today here's my schedule I'm gonna read off to you again please email me um, battlefirstaid at icloud.com as well as give me a phone call uh, my phone call here in Boston, New York, D.C. is a public number. It's public because I provide first aid services. Okay, my public phone number is 857-353-0173. Okay, and it's a public number, uh, so you can reach me there anytime. 
okay and then just email me or call me on the phone i would really appreciate it. i'm also here at howard howard university um i did make some reports about uh some construction issues at my alma mater okay because i'm alumni from howard and my alma mater uh howard university which was the first school that i attended uh, post graduation from high school so um just just follow along with me on my uh my uh, schedule for today okay so again Give me a call, public phone number, 857-353-0173, as well as email me at battlefirstaid at iCloud.com. That's B-A-T-T-L-E, the number one, S-T, at iCloud.com. Okay, so this is the Queen Battle. I'm going through a lot of personal family issues. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my schedule right quickly and then briefly review over this. Okay, so from 7 to 8. Um, again, I have, it's my coffee, okay, it's my breakfast, <laughs> so I need some food to eat. If you guys would like to see me donate some food to eat, please do. Um, and then um, 8 to 9, so today is uh, for today, my schedule, Tuesday, August the 31st, uh, 7 to 8 is coffee, responding to emails here in D.C. off of Indiana's 7th Street. Um, from 8 to 9, I'm available for morning public calls. So if you'd like to give me a call here in D.C. while I'm here in D.C., if you are in the DMV area, if you're at Georgetown, Howard, um, or George Washington, whatever school you're at, as well as if you're here in, in just the general D.C. area, um, I'm here right now across from the, uh, the Criminal Court of Appeals, the, uh, a couple of federal uh, business buildings besides government some government buildings um, you can also call me to as well um, and then from 8 to 9 I'm available for morning public calls please respond to me like I said before here in the DMV area my public phone number is 857-353-0173 from 10 to 11 I'm responding to emails I'm available for phone calls and oops, mosquitoes I'm available for phone calls and conferences uh, so if you'd like to email me again or if you'd like to schedule a phone conference um, please email me at battlefirstaid at icloud.com um, from 11 to 12 is lunch um, I do need some lunch money so I would really appreciate here DC is still a very expensive city like Boston and New York but DC is one of the top highest expensive cities to live in so if you'd like to help me just contribute to get some lunch money I would really appreciate that um, and then from uh, 11 to 12 is lunch from 12 to 1, I have an appointment with our team talking about how to use my iPhone 12, which I have this iPhone 12 for business, which is great, but it still does, it's only basic 64 gigs on this iPhone 12. So I'm going to have a meeting with the Apple team here in DC and then go over some basic logistics about how to use this phone. Um, from, so from 12 to 1, I have an appointment with the Apple team. From 2 to 5 p.m. here on Tuesday afternoon, I will be doing research at the D DC MLK Central Library. Um, it's off of 901 G Street Northwest. I'm trying to do some funding research for grants as well as um, applying for jobs as well as getting out there. Um, see what kind of like the vibe is here at the public library. Um, I went to the library yesterday here at the Southwest Library. Very small, compact. Had a bad day. I went to the Library of Congress. Had a schedule. I so scheduled guys yesterday. For the Library of Congress, I was supposed to go in there, but according to COVID regulations across the United States, most private libraries, not really public libraries, but private libraries are closed to the public, okay? So you either have to be an employee or you have to be um, some kind of other individual in order to get access to any kind of library in the United States, which is another uh, video that I'm going to have to make a YouTube video about. Okay, COVID and public libraries, which is a really big issue because schools are starting. Um, Howard University, which is the HBCU, starts this Friday, September the 34th. But they have their founders library as was well the undergraduate library, which is great for research. Has not undergone renovations, but again, because of COVID regulations, they still might not only have access to that library only to uh, to new new students okay only to university college students because of COVID regulations COVID-19 regulations which is across the United States so you have to be a little bit more aware of that okay 
Um, and so from uh, 2 to 5, we'll be doing research at the D.C. MLK Central Library, 901 G Street, Northwest Washington, D.C., here at 2001. If you'd like to come by, don't be shy. Uh, the library services me all the time. I don't have any issues with going to a public library as well as a private library. So come by and see me. I would really appreciate that. Um, from 5 to 6, I have a virtual meeting here with the Red Cross um, office. Um, and I think it's either in Boston or in, in here in the headquarters. So if you'd like to come. Um, so I have a virtual meeting with the Red Cross here from 5 to 6. Uh, 6 to 7 is dinner. So again, um, if you'd like to donate, you know, I would really appreciate that for some kind of uh, food money to survive here in DC. Um, 7 to 8 uh, is pretty much basic nightly accommodations. So if you know anybody in DC here that would love to help me out, help me out with some kind of nightly accommodations, which is a general term, but if you guys pretty much already know what I'm talking about, um, um, as well, uh, just email me at battlefirstaid.com and I will provide me with, uh, with their references and that would really help me out, okay? I'll be also doing some homework uh, online and then responding to emails as more as well as much more research. So that is my schedule for today. It's available on my Facebook page as well as it will be available on my LinkedIn. People are taking pictures of my writing. I hate it. Whenever I write something down, people take literally when I write something down, people take pictures of it. It is so irritating. So um, anyway, please, please uh, send me help. I you know. I kind of was kind of going through. Um, I really wanted to come down for my uncle Fred Canard's funeral, but I'm really trying to get out there and um, uh, say I love my family. But um, they're pretty much saying I'm way too controlling. It doesn't make any kind of sense. I don't even have access to my family, so um, it's really evil. Um, right now the way they are treating me on top of that I'm not getting any kind of communication from these people I'm just getting emails I'm trying to I'm sending out emails day by day messages to these people my family members my relatives but they are not responding back to me um, or uh, they say they're busy or it's a family funeral so I'm not getting back the response that I need so unfortunately um, that's just how it is, especially when you have somebody in your life that has uh, control over your child. So there's not really much I can do about it. Um, but I'm really just trying to uh, do the very best I can. And then, um, you know, just keep it in God's hands right now. Okay. All right. So um, this is my schedule. If you'd like to donate, to me, the Queen Battle, the Queen Early Battle. Please donate to Battle First Aid Responder Services, Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. Okay, and then um, you can also give me a phone call. My public phone number is 857 353 0173. It's a public phone number because I provide health and medical care services. Okay, as well as you can email me at battlefirstaid at icloud.com. Also available for servicing too, as well. But again, um, I don't know what kind of setup is going on. I'm just really not interested in a lot of other people too. It's, you know, just whatever. But anyway, please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers. And then I will pretty much uh, go out there and, and do the very best I can. Uh, there are so many issues going on in here in the city. Um, there is, uh, we, we almost... I don't know if we're going to a war yet. President Biden and Department of Defense have not said if we are going to have another conflict with the Middle East, especially right now what happened through Afghanistan. So we really don't know if we are going to go into another war or not. But that issue still on the case still remains open. Right now, the, the, the Americans have withdrawn all its troops. I'll talk about this on our next channel, Battle First Aid, Battle First Aid Responder Services, as well as just in general. It's a hard time for everybody. Everybody's going through COVID as well as is struggling right now with the economy and dealing with a lot of issues. Uh, your family, your friends, and uh, the government. Your uh, COVID 
jobs, housing. A lot of people are struggling. I know elections are also going on too in New York, Boston, as well as across the United States. So I would love to be more involved with that. Uh, to work in the community and to help out in the community process but unfortunately um, they want a little bit more than that okay they want you to have a little bit more than that or you have to be at the right place at the right time so anyway but hey this is Queen. I'm still the same certified medical assistant adult and pediatric first aid community health provider I have to do some billing I, have done, I haven't done the billing yet for a lot of things and I need to start suing people for uh, mistreatment. I'm file reports. I file a report against Sarah Jakes uh, Roberts. Uh, she put another video on YouTube. It's since been deleted. Her ministry deleted the video. Um, I already sent a report about it to the to authorities and as well as to a couple other ministries to figure out what is going on and what kind of issues need to be addressed between me and this ministry. Uh, T.D. Jakes, his daughter, and the Potter's House. I have no idea, but I don't have any kind of enmity against these people, but I'm really tired of it. I'm really tired and I'm very upset about it. I'm not interested in the ministry. I'm not interested in anything that T.D. Jakes has to offer him or his daughter. But I'm really, really tired and pathetic about it. I'm upset about it. And I wish it would stop, but it's not stopping. And it continues to go on and on and on, okay? From here in D.C. to Boston to Chicago, when she came here to Chicago in 2016, and she started her women her women's ministry there. I'm really tired. I'm really tired of pathetic and set up about it, okay? I wish who or whoever's connected to her ministry would stop it right now, okay? I could literally, literally go on and on and on about it, but it needs to stop. It's a new year and we have a new president. It's going on and on and on. She did a video in 2011 when my son was born. Um, uh, her, her ministry is so sad. It's so sad. I am so sad. She did another YouTube video about a devotional that was played in Chicago when, when Rosen was bombed. So I'm just really sick and tired of this ministry everywhere I go. I'm having to deal with it, especially now you're dealing with the public person as well as a lot of social media influence. I've, I've said so 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 many you i've done a vi two video responses to this as well as dealing with what will happen to me it's an issue that happened to me at um in boston at um hillsong church in boston and then um you know i am practicing catholic so i'm really really not interested in a lot of issues right now but the and then my home church of Calvary Cathedral of over 30, 40, 50 years was shut down, closed its doors last year. Their ministry shut down, closed their doors. So it really affected me. Um, and then I lost two friends to suicide. They were from Calvary also. So um, uh, they were in the military and they're also from Calvary. So I'm kind of like, really, Calvary is a hard topic for me to talk about right now, as well as dealing with the black church is another issue. So I sent out a min an email to some ministries as well, find out what is going on. And then, um, you know, I'm really tired. I'm really tired and pathetic, upset about it. It's like a replay, a replay of one of their loose. Okay. I'm really tired. I'm really upset about it. And I really wish it would stop. But people keep comparing you over and over and over and over again. The last shelter that I was in Boston had three, four, five women in it named Kim. So it's really, really tired and boring. I'm upset. I'm upset and I'm very tired about it. Okay, I wish it would stop. All right, so this is the Queen Battle. I'm here in D.C. until Friday, Saturday, uh, September the 3rd or 4th. I would love to come to back to my uncle's funeral in Texas to come to Texas. But unfortunately, I'm dealing with a lot of family you know, um, trials, um, and I'm just getting close with a lot of people that are really not so, um, Anyway, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. So, please uh, continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I would really appreciate it. Okay? All right. So, this is Queen. God bless you guys and continue to do the very best with what you have. Okay? I'm going to go over to my YouTube channel and talk a little bit more about. Of the status of my fellow C3 nonprofit, which is doing good in the public realm 
on the internet is looking good, but at the same time, financially, I'm still struggling and going through a lot. Okay, so um, uh, just keep me, please continue to keep me in your thoughts, prayers, and wishes. And I need a lot of warmth and support right now. Email me at battleforce8 at icloud.com, as well as I'll send it to my Facebook groups and my YouTube and my LinkedIn channel too as well. And I had coffee, so thank you to uh, Starbucks here on 7th of Indiana here at DC for the coffee, so I would really appreciate it, okay? Right, and I might have a public phone number, so call me, um, 857-353-0173 here in the DC area for the next week, and we'll try to make some decisions from there, okay? All right, so this is the Queen. God bless you and your loved ones.